So thank you, uh, Dr. Maouj. Uh, first of all, salam alaikum, azul filawan, and hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me first thank, let me first thank the jury members uh, for being here today, my family and uh, the audience. So we are uh, reunited here today to uh, defend my uh, doc doctoral uh, dissertation entitled. So entitled Raising EFL Learners Motivation to Read Literary Texts Through Using um, Literary Works Based Films. The case is the case of second year LMD students of English at City of University. This Indova has been supervised by uh, Dr. Uh, Nadia Idri. The outline of today's uh, presentation is as follows. First, we start with an introduction. Then we move to the statement of the problem, the aim and scope of the study, the research question and hypothesis. After that, we finish uh, with the conclusion. So let's start. In actual facts, it is deemed that reading is vital for the mastery of a foreign language to the extent that some educate, educators consider the ability to read as central for autonomous learning. Unfortunately, the review of literature has revealed that most EFL students are reluctant to read literary works due to a number of reasons. Uh, for instance, the uh, students' intrinsic uh, motivation, um, their the students' uh, uh, defi uh, linguistic defi uh, defi uh, defi uh, deficiency, um, the text itself, the, the difficulty of the text itself, the teacher and their approaches. So all these factors may lead them to become less motivated and frustrated in working with such texts. Therefore, uh, what to do? So therefore, in today's uh, technologically driven world, it is the apex for uh, most EFL teachers to think about innovative and up-to-date methods and materials, such as, for example, here in this study, film adaptation to meet the demands of nowadays EFL literature class in general and literature reading cl classroom in particular. So ladies and gentlemen, before stating the uh, problem, I would like to invite you to listen to, uh, to uh, two recordings uh, on the behalf of students from City of University and teachers from City of University to state, uh, to, uh, to state the problem themselves. In fact, I don't like reading English text as literature and reading are this not is the recording of students. I know as a learner that I need to read but I don't well, feel I don't like reading very much especially literary texts because they are hard to understand and also to find a good ones that's why I don't read the books that we read at university are always boring and we are forced to read them I read them because I have to but I really don't like them Curriculum, despite its importance, recognized by a number of uh, researchers. Um, uh, rather, it is integrated with the, with the uh, literature uh, module and the uh, uh, course uh, entitled Introduction to Literary Texts. So, in fact, it seems that most EFL students uh, at these targeted departments lack interest in reading. They read merely for the sake of achieving high schools. However, I think it is high time 
uh, literature teachers take uh, Morgan's uh, words into prominence. The days of teaching uh, literature based on uh, the literary text alone are coming to an end. So accordingly, the current study aims at filling in this gap through examining the impact of using film adaptation on second-year Algerian EFL students' reading motivation at the University of City 2. Now let's move to the aim and scope of the study. So this, this doctoral dissertation at a micro level is set out to unveil the status of EFL teaching reading in Algerian educational setting, which is the uh, Department of English at uh, City of Two uh, University, which is unfortunately in a paling uh, situation. At a micro level, it's, it, aims at, uh, it aims of essentially to examine an experimental endova, the effect in, through an experimental endova, the effectiveness of integrating filmic literature into neophyte literature class in order to raise the student reading comprehension. Exclusively, it investigates the influence of literary works based films, which are the filmic adaptation, in maintaining a good momentum of reading interest amongst the good year uh, Algerian students at City uh, to University, as most of them are unwilling to read, unfortunately. So, we move now to the research questions and the research hypothesis. The present, the present research work uh, raises the following questions. First, do literature teachers at the target department hold positive attitudes towards using film adaptation in the EFL classroom to raise second year uh, students' reading motivation? Another question, or the second question is, what are the second year students' attitudes towards reading English literature? Another question, which is, what are second year students' attitudes towards using film adaptation? A fourth one is, does the use of film adaptation improve second year uh, students' literary text reading motivation? And uh, we have at last, is there any relationship between the use of film adaptation as a material and students' reading comprehension scores? In light of the aforementioned uh, research question, the following hypotheses, along with parallel null hypotheses, when necessary, are worded. So we go through the first hypothesis. We have uh, the literature teachers hold positive attitudes towards using film adaptation in the EFL classroom to raise second-year students' reading motivation at City 2 University. A second hypothesis is at City of Two University, students in the control group hold negative attitudes towards uh, reading English literature and using film adaptation to increase it, while students in the experimental group hold positive attitudes towards reading the English literature and using film adaptation to improve it. A, th a third uh, hypothesis runs as follows. There is a significant uh, difference in the reading motivational pattern between the experimental and the control groups after the integration of film adaptation. Its non-hypothesis is there is no significant difference in the reading motivational pattern between the experimental group and the control group after the treatment. Uh, the last hypothesis here is there is a significant difference in scores in the reading comprehension post-test between control and experimental groups, and its null hypothesis runs as follows. There is no significant difference in scores in the reading comprehension post-test between the control group and the targeted group, or which is the experimental group. Now let's move to talk about the research methodology. The methodological approach embraced in this study is a mixed uh, methodology uh, based on qualitative and quantitative modes of inquiry. We have relied on three, uh, three research tools. First, the, the teacher's interview. Second, the student's questionnaire and an experimental uh, design. So, regarding the population and sampling, uh, as we are talking about research methodology, we have to mention the population and the sampling. So, the quality of any research is uh, not restricted mainly to the appropriateness and aptitude of the, of the uh, tools, research tools used, but also to the sample 
the size sample and uh, how it represents the uh, population better. So the, uh, the participants in this study are 70 uh, second year students having intermediate level. Uh, second uh, sample are seven teachers having different backgrounds of formation and different levels of experience. It is worthy to note that there are 10 uh, literature teachers at the Department of English at City of University, but due to some administrative and personal sorry, personal uh, reasons, only seven teachers have participated in the interview. Now let's move to the research instruments. We have started with a face-to-face -face te teacher's uh, interview. It is consisted of uh, 19 uh, questions. It is um, conducted after it is conducted after the, uh, after the, uh, the uh, treatment by June uh, 2019 in order to get into the depth of the, the teacher's attitude regarding the incorporation of English literary works based films, intriguing students' interest for reading literary texts and to know more about some problematic issues related to the current research, for example, how literature is thought, the students' attitudes towards literature in general and reading literary texts in particular. A second tool, research tool is the student's questionnaire. Student's questionnaire is um, a developed questionnaire by the researcher and it was, uh, it consisted of uh, 19 questions. It is meant for the 70 uh, se uh, second year students at the City of Tour University in order to understand students' perceptions and attitudes towards using film adaptation as a motivating method improving their reading production and it is worthy to note that the, this uh, student's questionnaire is meant only for the targeted group and the non-targeted group only. So, as far as the experimental design is concerned, it is a quasi-experimental design because uh, we have opted for a non-random uh, non-random sample due to some administrative uh, administrative difficulties and it is uh, a 14 weeks manipulation the uh, the uh, indova started in december 2018 and it ended in june 2019 and the manipulation was in the form of a course uh, a formed course design using the uh, watch read watch read uh, strategy so we have uh, we have used also two different different types of tests with experimental and control group, namely a reading comprehension test. This test is meant, this test is meant to, uh, to test the student's uh, reading com uh, comprehension pattern after and before, uh, before and after the treatment and an adapted version of the Fourier language reading attitudes and motivational scale developed by Ayrton 2002, uh, 2010, sorry, in order to test the uh, student's motivational pattern after the uh, treatments. Now let's talk about the results and the findings. So, the main findings that are stemmed from the teacher's interviews are first, the EFL students in the targeted departments hold negative attitudes towards the literature course in general and reading uh, English literary texts in particular. This is proven by Khaladi 2014 and Muhammad 2016. Another important uh, finding is that the most noted factors and the lion students' reading uh, reluctance uh, are the students' critical assumptions about it, their linguistic and lexical deficits, uh, which is proven by Madani 2016. And 16, the inevitability of reading resources, the teachers himself and the teaching approaches, uh, which is proven by Al Mahruki 2012 with Omani EFL students, the text itself, which is proven by Abrashi 2017 in their study carried out with 200 Jordanian students. Also, all the interview teachers are optimistic about using film adaptation to assign reading tasks in their literature course. They are not actually using it uh, now, but hopefully in the uh, future they will, since they're optimistic, uh, they have optimistic attitudes towards it. 
Also, another uh, important finding is that most teachers agree that it is more pertinent for uh, the department to schedule um, regular sessions to effectively integrate, uh, integrate the film adaptation stimulously with uh, the literary text within the reading course to promote their reading motivation. Also, the, when the teachers were asked about the main problems underlying uh, th that may encounter when using the film adaptation, they uh, mentioned the cultural inappropriateness, the paucity of teaching materials, time constraints, overcrowded classes, the reader's bias lays in the differences between the original and adapted versions. Uh, also, we have another finding which is that almost all of the, uh, of the, uh, of the teachers are of the, view, uh, uh, of the view of scholars like Hebin and Rankin, Erickson and Leo that film adaptation are useful materials to overcome the lack of student interest and motivation to read uh, literary text. A final finding is uh, that film adaptation influence the student's literary appreciation and value. This is because they are urged to know uh, more about the text uh, and foster their engagement with it and their appreciation. Now let's move to the student's questionnaire. As you can see in table, two, in table one, uh, we have 95% of the experimental group are stimulated by uh, film adaptation to read the original version of the novel, while 98% of the control group refuted this statement. Uh, as far as the second table is concerned, 98%, uh, which is a huge percentage of the experimental group, uh, hold positive attitudes towards the effects of uh, film adaptation on their reading comprehension, while uh, it is not the case uh, as, uh, when their uh, counterparts of the control group are uh, concerned. Uh, also, another finding that, that, st that was stemmed from the uh, student's questionnaire is that they both hold, held positive attitudes towards providing an independent session for reading from the English literature course. Also, 26 uh, students of the first group and 30, uh, uh, 30 of the second group expressed their uh, dissatisfaction regarding the time eluded for the, to the reading material. Uh, a last finding which is uh, manifested or presented in this table uh, that 95% of the experimental group acknowledge the usefulness of film adaptation to raise their reading uh, motivation in which this finding uh, this findings is the core of this study while 92% uh, of the control group uh, were neutral this is uh, normal because uh, they were the non targets uh, group. As far as the uh, pre-test and post-test finding uh, is concerned, we have, uh, you, we have uh, both uh, the findings emerged from the reading comprehension quiz and the FLRM's, uh, the FLRM's uh, scale. So we have the film adaptation has uh, a positive effect on the reading comprehension of second year EFL students, uh, but after the treatment before the treatment, the, the, two groups, uh, the two groups had the same reading level, the same, uh, the, same, the same baseline characteristics as far as reading comprehension of the text is concerned. But after the, the treatment, the results of the statistical analysis of an independent sample t-test of the reading post-test uh, of the two groups indicated that uh, T observed 7 is highly greater than the T critical, which is, T, uh, which is 2, at P uh, equals 0 0.0, uh, small than 0 0.05 for two-tiled test. That is, the probability at, that the difference between the two means arose by chance is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, the researcher is 95% uh, sure of the uh, results. 
Also, uh, as far as the FANARAM's uh, finding is concerned, uh, prior to intervention, uh, both groups had the same read and motivational pattern with mean rank of uh, um, 34 uh, and uh, as far as the uh, control group is concerned and the experimental group it was 36. This was an expected as most EFL second year students at the targeted department are unmotivated to read literary texts. Another significant uh, finding is that there is a significant difference was marked between the two groups in the FRM's post-test with a mean rank of the control group to, uh, 20 and the experimental group uh, 50. In other words, all the students in the experimental group attained a high level of reading motivation, whereas in the other group, uh, no, stati no statistically significant impact was noted on their reading motivational aptitudes in general. So, now let's move to the limitation of the study. In order to, uh, in order to, um, in order uh, to, uh, for any study, for any uh, study, we have to. Uh, in order, in order to back up the, uh, the trustworthiness of the study, sorry, uh, the limitation of the study must be, uh, must be worded. So first, the findings cannot be generalized to all the students. Since the sample was a very restri restricted sample, 70% 70, sorry, 70 second year students compared to a huge compared to the whole population, which is four, uh, 445 students. So uh, the findings cannot be uh, general, uh, generalized. Also, the data coll uh, collection was confined to only one university uh, due to administrative and time constraints. As for uh, the sampling procedure, it was convenient in nature because uh, due to some uh, reasons, which are first the time constraints and some uh, administrative issues. Also, the time devoted to the experiment uh, was a problem uh, since the, pro the, the manipulation were, was lasted for uh, only 14 weeks and it is preferably to do the experiment for a longer uh, period. Uh, of time. So uh, the lack of prior research studies on this topic also is concerned as one of the limitations of this study since this is a novel and new explored uh, uh, research uh, area and there is no, unfortunately, not enough uh, research studies to, to uh, To, to talk about it. Now let's move to the pedagogical implica uh, implications. So, uh, some recommendations and pedagogical impl uh, implications based on the review of literature and the findings attained in the present study are uh, worded here. First, uh, we have to uh, mention that uh, one of the implications is the integrating of reading as a course this is a module. Uh, for first year students in the Algerian education uh, context, this study was back up with uh, Madani 2016. Also, most students in the Algerian uh, Department of English nat nat nationwide encounter a number of reading difficulties. Thereupon, their reading motivation and interest is negatively influenced. Therefore, we opted for some, uh, some suggestions. Uh, first, to promote student reading, uh, student, student reading strategies such as scheming, scanning, and uh, anticipation. Also, to develop reading activities by dividing the course into a pre, uh, while, and post-reading st uh, stages. And an example of these activities are uh, reading uh, clothes, for example. Now. As far as the future, the future research is concerned, we have uh, some uh, suggestions. First, as film adaptation is concerned as a novel and under uh, research area in Algeria, conducting more research is required. Also, as the study was conducted in a small convenient sample, larger randomized uh, con uh, controlled trials uh, could provide more decisive evidence, of course. And a study to investigate the effects of such materials on the students' reading motivation according to gender and age, which, has, which have been neglected in the study can be uh, piloted. 
Also, future research may consider conducting a similar uh, or replicate this study in a longer uh, time, more than 14 we weeks, in order to familiarize, of course, uh, more students with uh, film adaptation tools. And as a final, uh, final uh, suggestion, future research can, uh, can crystallize how other language skills, such as speaking and listening, can be taught and enhanced by uh, film adaptation. Now let's come to the conclusion. This doctoral dissertation was written basically because of the prevailing and appalling situation, unfortunately, of the reading, literature, teaching at the Department of English at City of Two University, which requires immediate action and appropriate measures at methodological and practice level. In the light of the, uh, the foregoing data analysis, it becomes clear that the main hypotheses of the present study are confirmed. That is, the, uh, the literature, te literature teachers' uh, attitudes and the experimental students' attitudes are positive towards using the film adaptation uh, material in raising students' reading motivation. Also, the, uh, the targeted groups outperformed the non-targeted groups when uh, the reading comprehension is uh, concerned. And most importantly, that uh, that uh, most importantly that the uh, film adaptation can uh, can raise the students' uh, uh, reading motivation. Uh, reading motivation. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention and time.